Hello YouTube. Today we made chicken and spaghetti. You can really use any pasta. Today I had some no yolks pasta so that's what we used. You're going to start out by using six cups of hot water. You're going to add it to the instant pot. Place it on the saute cycle. That way it will start heating up your water to reduce your pressure up time. That's the time that it takes to heat up to pressure cook your chicken. I added my steamer basket to the pot. That way it would be easy to remove my chicken and vegetables after they're cooked. So to the pot I added two frozen chicken breasts, two tablespoons of nor bouillon, a dash of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of the following seasonings. Black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, garam masala, and coriander. Then I added one cup of seasoned blend, which is a frozen mixture of onions, bell peppers, and celery. Place your lid on your pot, and for frozen chicken breasts, I pressured these 14 minutes. If your chicken breasts are thawed, 10 to 11 minutes will be plenty of time to cook them. After they have cooked, you're going to do a quick release and carefully remove the steamer basket or take a slotted spoon and remove your chicken breasts and your vegetables from the pot. Place them to the side, then later you're going to want to dice those up while your noodles are cooking. I cut mine up into about half inch to three quarter inch chunks. At this time you're going to want to reduce your liquid in your pot down to five and a half cups. You can use the measurement on the side of the instant pot so you can tell how much liquid you need to reduce out of the pot. Reserve your chicken broth to the side. You'll either need to use it later or you can save it to cook with later. Place your noodles in the pot. If you're using spaghetti noodles, just break them in half and place them in the pot. You're going to use the time that it says on the bag, the directions it says to how long to cook your pasta. Mine said six minutes. So you're only going to use half of that time because that's all it'll take to pressure it. So I only pressured mine for three minutes. Once it's pressured three minutes, do another quick release. And when you take the lid off the pot, go ahead and hit the saute cycle. That way it'll start heating up your water. At this time we're going to add our cheeses. We added a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, 10 to 12 slices of American cheese, and 4 ounces of cream cheese. You stir that up and when your cheese is fully melted, you'll add your chicken and vegetables back to the pot. Then you're going to pour in one can of Rotel tomatoes and I diced up a roasted red pepper and added it in also. Stir that up and while your pot's heating up, this is a good time to taste your sauce and see if it needs more salt, more pepper, more onion powder, more garlic powder. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you on the comments if you have any questions. If you'd like to join our channel, do so. Then you'll get a notification anytime we post new videos. Hope you have a great day. This is the Pressured Prepper and I'm out.